fragrance related content on my other other page whatever so with that being said we're just gonna start right now but this is what the collection is looking like got a few niche a few designers all this i apologize if y'all can hear the rain right now that's everything first off this is bright peach by mason alhambra this is the clone of bitter peach and really it smells like peach but it's very synthetic would i recommend this no unless you just really like the smell of peach and you want a cheap fragrance this was 25 dollars on amazon i think so try it out if again if you want to try it you might want to get it quick because i think they are getting sued by tom ford for the the bottle design i don't know so if you want to try it so next is pentatone by milano for grande i've never had the real pentatone or smelled it but it smells amazing get a baked sweet bread with candied oranges candy dried fruit smells amazing the bottle looks great cold weather magnetic cap the cap is pretty heavy as well there you go but yeah i would recommend this if you like gourmand scents next is one of my favorites this is tom ford noir extreme you can see i've made a pretty good dip in the bottles right there but yeah oh man it just smells amazing Kofi. I know that's a big note in here. It's a Indian dessert, I believe, but man, this smells amazing. I've smelled the extrait or the parfum, whatever one is the all gold bottle. It doesn't hit like this one. If you're gonna try this line out, try it out. The extreme version it smells amazing. Ooh. Great date night fragrance. I would definitely recommend. I've gotten a few compliments on it. My dad really likes it. He doesn't want to compliment me a lot, <laughs> but he likes that one a lot. Next is the Rich, Warm, and Addictive by Zara. This is their reformulated version, I believe. But from what I got out of wearing this, sweet. I think, I don't know if there was a booze note in here, but it's sweet. You get the hint of tobacco. It's not that strong, so younger younger people you can wear this uh, it smelled good it lasted about six hours on me i believe projection was decent about an hour or so i'd recommend it it's pretty cheap i think this was 25 dollars. definitely better better bang for your buck than this one so get this one over this one say so yes i would recommend Next is Whiff of a Waffle Cone by Imaginary Authors. Here are the notes on the back. The amorous, wherever it is on here, makes it smell real syrupy. Other than that, I like it. But I don't really get ice cream shop vibe. I get... Oh, wait. No, I don't get... I don't get a waffle cone vibe. I get the ice cream shop. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. It's, I would say it's one of those unique ones where it's not really something you can wear a whole lot, but as you can see, I've barely worn it. I don't know if you guys can see it. But anyway, would I recommend it? Yes, if you're looking for something different. Now, a little story time, quick little story time. We have two Grand Soirs. They messed up my order and I gave one of them to my mom, so yeah. Oh well. But which one is mine? This one's mine. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little let down by Grand Soir. I thought it was gonna be way more prominent, way sweeter vanilla. It's not that sweet at all. It's more of a mature elegant type of scent again it's not that sweet for the price the performance you get on it is great for the price i spread it on one of my excuse me 
jackets and I put it on yesterday and that was two weeks ago and I can still smell it so longevity is great the smell I will say it smells better in the air than on skin so when you have that scent trail forming I like how it smells there but just spraying it on myself and smelling it it's not my favorite would I recommend it if you can find it for $200 or less, then yes, but I would not pay full retail for it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Next up is Zershoff Naxos. There's all bottle. Zershoff bottles just are beautiful. Caps are hard to get off, though. Yeah. What do I think about this? I know I've said this before, but I still get that Gormex smell. The dry down though, smells very nice. I love the dry down. The opening lasts, I don't know why it lasts so long. It lasts almost an hour to me, the opening. I've never had a fragrance that lasts that long for the opening, but once it dries down, it smells better to me anyway. If you're getting into Zershoff and you wanna know what fragrances to look for, I can only give you a couple recommendations because I've only smelled a few, but Metallica, if you like the sweet gourmand scent, it smells like sugar cookies, milky sugar cookies. Alexandria too, that just smells amazing. I don't even know how to describe it, very elegant. And then I smelled Tony Iommi. That was, uh, that one's unique, I'll say that, but Naxos, I definitely would say you could get something better than Naxos if you're going into the search offline. It's a good smell, don't get me wrong, but for me, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I could recommend it to you guys. Next up is Blue de Chanel, and I know the bottle is pretty much empty, the juice is right here, but my opinion on it has not changed. Now, when I first got into fragrances, I loved it, right? Mass appealing fragrance. You can get it relatively easily. Just go to Macy's or Sephora or Ulta, one of those places, and they'll have it. But now, as my as my collection has grown and I've kind of dived into the niche side, I personally would not recommend it just because it's so common. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say common, I'm not saying everybody who walked by smells like this because 90% of the time, no one wears fragrances when you go out in public. And if they do, they're not wearing this. Anyway, 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 what I'm saying is the people that do wear fragrances, they're going for the mass appealing ones. So, Buddha Chanel, YSLY, Dior Sauvage, those things like that. So, for me personally, I would not recommend this because you're not gonna stand out. Is it a bad smell? No, it smells pretty good, but it's nothing unique. If you smell this, I'm probably sure one of your friends probably has it too, so. <laughs> and that, that's the thing with me, I don't wanna smell like anyone else. Now granted, I know people have this, everyone's got all these fragrances, but I just wanna be one of the people that has it the least i don't know i'm getting confused myself but <laughs> whatever i want unique scents there we go there we go this is tom ford's black orchid this smells disgusting i don't know how anyone could wear this no offense if you like this straight old lady vibes disgusting <laughs> this is i want i would not recommend that this is Parfums de Marley Layton. I smelled a bunch of Layton. I was just, I smelled a bunch of, not Layton, Parfums de Marley, a bunch of MFK, a bunch of Creed, Initio, Mind Games, what else? Homage. Yeah. And Bonds. Now I'll say this, just real quick. For bonds, I liked or I smelled great. Oh, 
my bad, I smelled Greenwich Village, Tribeca, New Harlem, I think that was it, I like all three of those, I'll probably get them, for my games, I smelled Queening, I like it, kind of reminded me of Virgin Island Water, but I liked it, I liked it a lot, it's not that strong though, and the bottle is, looks amazing, I smelled the new Initio Narcotic Delight, if you have side effect, don't get Narcotic Delight, they smell almost identical, I really couldn't tell you the difference between them to be honest, besides the little cherry note that you get in Narcotic Delight, with Parfums to Marley I smelled, I smelled Altain, Altair, Ojean, Carlisle, I smelled a bunch, I, again, or not again, but for me, I know that the testers don't really smell how they should, because they're just sitting out all day, people are touching them, they're not being stored properly, so I know that they're going to smell different, so I'll definitely have to revisit those ones, because at the store, I wasn't really feeling them, but I know I like those scent profiles, and then I went to smell homage, I smelled interlude black iris, that one was Oops, my bad. That one was pretty crazy. That one smelled unique. I will say that. And um, I smelled Jubilation Man, I believe. I didn't really get the cognac in there. I smelled Miranda. I don't know. It's the green looking bottle. That one smelled okay. And then the Zershoff fragrances. And then when I went to MFK, I smelled a lot. I smelled Oots Head Mood again. I don't know if I've told you all this before, but that's definitely going to be one of the fragrances I end up buying next or the soonest. But I'm holding back on fragrances right now. And I smelled that was really the only one that stuck out to me. I have a sample of that. Then I went to Creed Original Suntall. I'll get a bottle of that. Silver Mountain Water. A lot of people hate on it. I liked it. They say it smells like a uh, cleaner. I enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, getting back to this part from Smarley. Leighton. Oh, and I smell. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I said it. Leighton. I like it. I just don't like the opening. The opening lasts for about 20 minutes. Very minty. But strong. Smells great in the dry down. I would recommend this. There we go with uh, replicas by the fireplace if you're gonna get any replica fragrant fragrance i recommend this one this one smells the best to me personally i smelled a few of the other ones jazz club <clears throat> not hidden so i would recommend this one again as i said with the blue de chanel this is the ysly Le parfum i know they're coming out with the elixir here soon but and just another everyday scent it smells good, but it just doesn't stand out to me. I will say, I do want to try and get my hands on the Carby Musk fragrance by Drake. We'll see how that smells, but it's my only bond number nine right now. I used to have Bleecker Street, but I gave that away. I like Bleecker Street, but New York Nines, man. That's all I gotta say. Go ahead, get this. If you like the sweeter ones, get this. Try New Harlem. If you like the smell of pancakes and syrup, I don't know how it smells like that, but it does. I didn't smell off a street, so I can't recommend that. Greenwich Village kind of reminded me of Bleecker Street. I'm not gonna lie, but I like Bleecker Street, so I like Greenwich Village. Anyway, moving on. I'm just talking. I'm yapping. This is one of my secret weapons for the summer. This is Coco Moon by Peach Giza. This stuff is strong. One spray. I've been told I've done two sprays. I've done five sprays. Every time I put this on, they say, you spray too much. And I'm like, hey, at least you can smell me. <laughs> but it smells great. I love it. I'd recommend. And it's... For the performance you get in the price, I'd say it's definitely worth the price. 
Now this is Initio Side Effect. Again, as I said earlier, with the Narcotic Delight. Just get one or the other. Sweet, boozy, little bit of tobacco. I like it. I'd recommend. It's not that strong, but it does last a while. Here is my first homage. This is Reflection Man. Very smooth, floral. Kind of smells... Think of a very elegant, smooth baby powder. That's what you get right here. Now, I know it don't, doesn't seem like I like it a lot, but I would recommend it if you're looking for your first on wash fragrance. This is another 13. Grab both of them. I think I had this as my number one fragrance. As you can see, I've used this a lot, but man, I've gotten so many compliments on this. It really, it really does smell like anything. It smells like paper. It smells like paper on here, but when you put it on your skin, that's where the magic happens. It smells amazing. It's strong. Lasts long. I love it. So whenever this runs out, uh, my grandmother actually got this for me for Christmas. So when this runs out, I'll be using this. And then I'm going to buy the 100 ml bottle. Definitely worth it. It is expensive though. Here's my second homage fragrance. Yeah. This is Beach Hut, man. Now everyone hates on this fragrance. Whenever I have them smell it off the atomizer. On skin, they like it. So, just remember that everything smells different on your skin. Even I don't like it off the atomizer, but on my skin, it's it's pleasant. I actually got a compliment on this the other day. I let my mom sniff it. She said, ew, she doesn't like it. I wore it. I came back from the gym, and she said, oh, you smell good. What is that? And I said, yeah, it's the one you don't like. <laughs> so I, would I recommend it? Probably not. But I'm starting to come around to it. Would I recommend the Lalabo and a 13? Yes. Vacation by vacation. You get this from what store is that? Ulta. Just think of think of going to a water park. It kind of smells like a water park, all the floaties and all that stuff. So would I recommend this? If it's $60, no. If you can get it for $30, $40, excuse me, then maybe. This is Byredo's Mave Ghost. I really don't like a whole lot of Bi Byredo. I think they're overpriced for what they are. It's okay. It smells like a really juicy flower. I apologize for the background noise, but again, a real juicy flower. It doesn't last that long. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Would I recommend it? Nah, it's overpriced. Angel Share. You guys can see the dent I've made in this. I would recommend this till the day I die. I love it. Oh. Go ahead and get you that if you haven't. If you haven't smelled anything by or from the by Killian house, Angel Share for sure. This is Aqua de Parma's Arancia de Capri. Now I've kind of realized that I don't like. Cit or not citrus, but orange heavy fragrances. This basically just smells like oranges, sweet oranges. And I'm not feeling it. If you guys can see, I kind of forced myself to wear this. It's right there, right above the the sticker. I forced myself to wear this. I really don't like it. It's not that expensive. So if you're getting into niche. You can look for this. I think they're about $100. I could be wrong. Something around that price, but I don't like that one personally. This is Chanel Laura Sport O Extreme. This one is cool if you're just looking for something you can wear every day. It's not my favorite. Again, it smells good, but it's alright. If you're 
you're younger and you just want one fragrance, I'd recommend it, but if you have multiple and you're looking for something unique, then no, get something else. This is Watch Out the Day of a Knee by Sphinx. Now don't get me wrong. It's starting to smell better. I was about to say the cinnamon in, in here is too much, but I think it's been macerating. So, I'm st hold on, let me smell that again. Yeah, okay. Never mind what I was gonna say. It smells good, and I think I got it for about $80. Now, if you're gonna try out Sphinx, I'd either say I haven't smelled any other ones besides their their chocolate one. I don't remember what it's called, but their chocolate one is pretty fire. So if you like watch out the, I'll just say a fair warning. You might get a lot of cinnamon with this one. Would I recommend it? Yes, if you can get it for a discount. This is Javinci Gentlemen's Only Absolute. This one's very spicy weather fragrance doesn't last that long it's not that strong would I recommend it not for retail it's cool for what it is if you can get it for a discount then yeah of course <laughs> no no I'm not gonna do it like that but a lot of you seem to really like this even on my TikTok a lot of you guys were saying that y'all really enjoy this so I yeah, I'm not a fan of it personally I just don't like Iris so it's a no for me. Again, same thing. Iris Palm. A lot of you really like this, but a no for me. I wouldn't recommend it. If you have the same taste as me, Tobacco of a Knee is my only private blend by Tom Ford. This one's cool. It's just the tobacco is too strong. I've barely worn it. it. The juice is up here still, so it's pretty potent. So if you're gonna try it out, don't get the hundred ml. You don't need it. Just get the thirty, and it'll last you. This is Virgin Island Water. I love this. I just wish that the boozy, with the rum in here, was more prominent. This is what reminds me of Queenie. Just no vanilla. It smells good. I like it. If you can get it on discount or go for it, don't pay re retail. Green Irish Tweet. Another banger from Creed. I know a lot of people hate on Creed, but they got some good stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to get what was it? Original Santa. The Silver Mountain Water. I smelled Melusine Imperial. I didn't really like that. Aventus Cologne, not Aventus, but the Cologne version. Oh. They got some bangers. I know a lot of people hate on Creed, say they're overpriced. Don't get me wrong. For retail, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get them retail, but I don't know if you smell pretty good. <laughs> this is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. Think of chocolate, a rich, rich milk chocolate. I'd recommend if you are into gourmand chocolatey fragrances. One million lucky. Would I recommend this? Nah. I don't like the bottle. And it's a little too sweet for me. Same thing. It's all the most wanted. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten a bunch of compliments with this. It smells good, but it's something about it is too sweet for me. Lastly, Versace Mano Fresh. No. <laughs> Hopefully, you all enjoyed. That is my updated collection. I know I've shown you guys these fragrances before in other videos, but not everyone watched them all. So, that is the collection. I'm not buying anything for a while, unless I get something as a gift. But, yeah.
Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.